how's the uh, fall been going so far? Um, I think the fall's been going good. I just like the intensity <laughs> our team is playing with. Like, you know, you can just definitely tell that, like, we weren't able to have a camp last year. Like, like you know, like, everybody's just so excited. Like, just every day out here. And I think, like, everybody feels that and it's contagious. So I think, like, that's my biggest takeaway from camp. Like, at this moment is, I mean, obviously you're going to have injuries and everything like that. And that's just part of the game. But, like, you know, like everybody like just is itching to be out here i guess and that's like the biggest thing for me right now is like just seeing that and seeing it from the young guys old guys guys establishing the role you know like getting on special teams getting excited like coming up to people being like oh what do i do on this like you know it's just it's just that feeling it's good to feel and um it's just everybody's riding that wave so is that the end result of last year being as wacky as it was or is there something else behind you guys having that that, that energy and the, and the that mindset well, there's some there's some motivation um, coming off of last year, so I'll just say that there's some motivation. You know, everybody's motivated. Right now. Judging off physicality alone, how do you feel the offensive line played today? Um, I feel like we played good. I mean, I feel like we played good coming out here. We had a big short yarders day, a goal line over there. We had nine on seven, um, doing a bunch of like just drills where it's breeded for you know. Uh, two yards they're trying to not let us get two yards we're trying to gain two yards so it's just there's no there's nothing like there's no flashy stuff it's just two yards we have to get two yards they have to stop us gaining two yards so i think those type of you know atmosphere for us is just we're just getting in there and competing with each other and we know that like you know we have one of the best d lines in the country best d lines in our conference so it's like every rep i take against Thule is like my reps were against marlin like this is one of the best four eyes, one of the best D tackles, one of the best DNs, whatever, where they put them, that I'm going to play and that I'm going to see on this rep. So it's like your intensity for that period, your intensity for that play, that rep is like so high. So I think like, you know, O-line and D-line, we're just getting after each other, you know, and that's how it's supposed to be. So, yeah. You talked about it being a two-yard day. What's the key for the offensive line to be more consistent in those type of situations when the season comes? So the key for us honestly is just in those situations everything goes up you know like the crowd's gonna obviously come into play the clock even might be ticking down because you're most of those situations are third downs so you know you get to first second down you have time third down you might not have time on the clock so it's all communication and identifying the free hitter so I think that's the biggest important part for our offensive line in short yardage situations is just communicating everybody putting a hat on a hat who is the free hitter? Where is he? What is the running back going to do? And understanding the like where we're trying to fit the ball on these plays, and also where we're trying to fit ball, fit the ball. If oh, they bring this, okay, now we have to fit it here. You know, it's not just cookie cutter, boom on this play. Short yardage, we just have to like you know. So it's just it's just that understanding the nuances of like everybody putting a hat on a hat and doing their job on that play. And just letting it ride. Because at the end of the day, like, that's what you have to do. On short yardage goal line, it's too close. One person is off a hat. If one person is off an even shoulder, like, hit the wrong shoulder, it's plays dead. So I think that's, like, the biggest part is being assignment perfect. The, run, the running backs that you've added to the to the roster this year, oh. pretty impressive. You can you just talk about those guys. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, we have, I don't know. I can't say enough about our running backs. Like, I don't know. They just run. They just run hard. They run for us, and we like we run for them. It's, it's vice versa. And we got like we know we have so many people that can go at all times, and so many people that are going to give us so much juice. I mean, you're gonna. Ha it's hard to tackle Vi. You can't catch Keenan. Barlow's too quick. Keontae, you, you have no chance. So it's like it's just it's just that like us knowing that and them knowing that. It's just, it gives us, you know, that feeling and that uh, intensity to go out there and, like, feed off each other. So I think the running back room is just great. I mean, <laughs> they be stopping by our little meetings, coming in, opening the 